The dark and giant Alan Wake is here, but is it worth your wait? Uh-oh. I'm a sucker for creative concepts in gaming. As a reviewer, I'm force-fed the same implemented crap over and over again. Any hint of originality is not overlooked. Alan Wake follows the principle of an episodic TV show. The most familiar I'm with is Lost. This is a great storytelling device because we're used to the literacy of it. For instance, each of the episodes have their own peaks and lows and specific narrative structures. This allows the game to have many exciting set pieces that have a syncopated storytelling flow. The only problem many will have with this is the overall story is a little short. Alan Wake is no Marcus Phoenix. Alan is an average Joe writer and him and his wife go on vacation to a town in the sticks called Bright Falls. Before long, things don't go as planned and Alan passes out and wakes up a week later only to find his wife's gone missing, something supernatural's going down, and it all leads to a book that he's apparently written. The gameplay is a simple enough third-person shooter type. Your primary weapon is your flashlight, which is used to deliver your enemies of the darkness around them. Once the darkness has left them, they are vulnerable to attack. This creates a horror film like Fear where your fights could get a little finicky and there'll be many close calls. The way the story unfolds is incredible. It's narrated by Alan Wake and each set piece and each bit of the chapter is captivating, hardly ever letting you experience a dull moment. The characters are strong and Bright Falls is littered with interesting townsfolk to chat up. During the day that is. Once night falls and darkness sets in, the drama starts to unfold. I love the details like the collectible canisters of coffee and horrific eyes on the televisions that watch you. It really oozes quality in high video game production. The only major gameplay fault that I can notice is the dodging. It's extremely difficult and unpredictable. It's very minor in the greatest scheme of things though. The sound is phenomenal. The game is best played in surround sound or with headphones on. It encapsulates the mood completely. The lighting is equally impressive, creating this perpetual dread like someone or, or something else is watching you throughout the game. Alan Wake gets a 9 out of 10. It's dark, it's horrific, it's original, and it's fresh. Go get it for your horror fans.